Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy Ricky Cadden back again with another Wednesday stock review. That's right, Wednesday spelt with an I. We did get some swing trades close out from the swing trading floor in profit. So a lot of happy traders uh, in our community. Uh, we'll take a look at those in just a second, but the SPY let's have a look at what happened last night so we did get a gap and go last night in the overnight session take a look at the five minute realistically if you were going to play this an entry above there with a stop below here you would have been able to take at least one and a half hour on that particular trade and then played that same setup one more gain and then made another you know healthy 2R gain on that one so if you did get to play the SPY bullish today then well done to you guys uh, where do I think the SPY is gonna go from now on well guys I do think that we are slowing down we've got decreasing volume we are coming up into the long-term moving averages and as you can see here guys on the shorter term moving average averages we're still at the 50 day EMA I don't think we're just gonna crush and roll all the way down although that could happen um, fundamentally that makes a lot of sense however technically I think we have reached a bottom about here at 220 I do think that we probably do come down and maybe create a higher low or a relative low that is also possible and then uh, from there I think that we do go higher Let's take a look at the e minis now the e minis pretty much doing the exact same thing the overnight session fairly flat we got decreasing volume as well so th the volatility that we had you know back at the st back at the end of March I think has kind of left for now um, and you can see here the candles are getting quite smaller as we rise a lot of people starting to just you know have a little bit of fear in them a sense of fear in them thinking that this is probably a little bit too extended we have had a fairly decent run up as you can see here from the lows we have come up 30 percent and that is after we dropped you know that is after we dropped a total of you know 35 percent so it makes sense for a lot of people to close out some trades take some profits market dips and then we'll see where we go from there. Here's the big one that a lot of real life traders are making some gainage on Tesla. A lot of people making a lot of money on this particular day right here. It was just an absolute sensational gap, gapping above all these candles here. All the shorter term moving averages looking to cross over. I mean, there's nothing bearish about this particular play. Uh, as you can see here on the short on the longer term moving averages too we did come back down create a nice higher low and bounce straight off the 100 simple moving average from here guys I think this is a little bit of a selling candle makes a lot of sense this is a retest gap so just if you are looking to buy Tesla just look to buy the dip here's ticket symbol SPCE now this was a weekly options newsletter play with real life trading Australia uh, so if you are a member and you were subscribed you would have got this right to the penny we got entered in onto this particular trade pretty much to the penny and uh, closed that one out for a nice two and a half hour gain uh, last night as a we probably will be looking at this one for a nice little dip buying opportunity to continue for a continuation higher makes a ton of sense on SPCE but all in all beautiful trade and well done to everyone who played it in our community Here's Facebook. Now Facebook just channeling up nicely. As you can see here, we are at the upper band of this particular channel. We've got the long-term moving averages coming into play. On the weekly chart, we are battling the 100 simple moving average. So it makes sense to kind of come back down, dip, and then there will be your buying location on Facebook. Makes sense around 166.50. If you are looking for a buy on Facebook, that makes the most sense to me. Here's the All Lords. Now the All Lords just trickling higher, very, very slowly. Um, I do think we will get somewhat of a little pullback with the overall markets. You can see here we have had the crossover with the the longer term moving averages too on the daily, on the weekly chart. You know, I mean we are we have had three bullish weeks in a row, so it makes sense to kind of have a small pullback as this has just been trickling, trickling higher. Um, but all in all, guys, I mean. Long term, 
we are at the 200 simple moving average on the monthly chart. So if you are looking to buy you know, into a longer term investments, I mean guys, last time we were here was back in 2008. It just makes the most sense if you're looking to buy shares for about four or five years, this is a very good time to start accumulating some, some sort of position long term. Just keep that in mind. Here's ANZ now on the monthly chart. You can see here we had a very nice dip down to the 200 simple moving average. Great buying location. And if you are looking to play this particular candle, this is a very nice hammer on the monthly on the monthly chart. So that is a very nice setup if you are looking to play this thing longer term, this being a monthly chart. On the daily chart though, we are just kind of chopping sideways a little bit longer. Uh, we have got earnings coming up just before just before May, end of April there. So that'll be definitely one to watch. ANZ most likely will trade a little bit more sideways and then look to bounce and go bullish. Here's, here's Telstra, ticket symbol TLS. Now Telstra has just been chop city. Um, trying to pick where to buy this one at the moment. I think I would just... At, at this at this point in time, I just look to kind of pyramid into this. If you take a look at the weekly chart, we are between the 100 and the 200 simple moving average. And on a monthly chart, we are at the 100 simple moving average on a longer term. So if you have want, if you do want to pick up some shares long term, then it makes a lot of sense to be buying at this particular level. Um, once again, guys, this is a nice little double top. Whether or not we kind of retest and then come back down a little bit lower. Who knows, we'll just have to wait and see, um, but Telstra definitely is at a buying location right now. Here's ticker symbol FPH, Fisher & Paykel Healthcare. Now on the on the daily chart, we have been keeping this one on our radar since we had this nice bullish move. And I have been saying that when it comes back down to the 100 simple moving average, that would be a very delicious place to buy FPH. However, if you look at the four hourly, on the four hour chart, it has been trending nicely on the four hour chart, you know, between the 100 and 200 simple moving averages. So if you are looking to buy this, uh, you know, at a shorter time frame, you can look at the four hourly chart. We are coming back down to the 100 simple. Yes, we could probably come back down a little bit lower, um, but if you are looking to get into this one, once again, probably just look to pyramid in, buy a few shares and, uh, you know, mitigate your risk that way. So that's my overall thoughts on the stocks on FPH. Here's, here's crude oil. Now crude oil did have that amazing dip that I was talking about here. So if you did kind of catch the short side on this one and take this thing bearish, then well done to you guys. And right now, I mean, I would argue this is a support level. Whether or not we break and go lower, we'll have to wait and see. But right now I am definitely a buyer of crude oil as we have had you know a very nice bearish couple of weeks uh, right here so here's gold now gold did create a new high just yesterday you know maxing out here at around 1750 ish um, so right now guys I mean this has been on a bullish tear so if you are looking to buy this could potentially be a fake out so look to just buy on a dip and take gold bullish. Last but not least, we'll take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now the Aussie dollar getting some rejection at 64, um, 64, 64 uh, cents. So most likely guys, we probably get somewhat of a pullback. This has just been a glorious, glorious run for all you Forex traders out there. So well done for you guys who have caught that particular run. Um, but my overall thoughts guys, I think that we do come down a little bit, have a little nice little high low, and then I think we look to bounce. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll be back on Friday with another real life stock review just for you guys. And until next time, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you all soon. Bye.